Hello, Happy Campers. Welcome back. I'm Spike. I'm Chris. This is Chris. Today on Geeking Out, we have a very particular episode. We're going to look, oh Lord, at Universal's Dark Universe. What the heck happened? You remember Dark Universe? Yeah, it was something that they were talking about from Universal back, uh, about like a year ago, and everybody was like, what happened to it? Well, yeah. Dark Universe was supposed to be the reboot of the Universal Horror Franchise. Now, in case you're wondering what the Universal Horror Franchise is, well, welcome to most millennials would agree with you. We're talking the original Frankenstein, the original Dracula, the original Mummy, uh, the original Wolfman, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the greats. All, all the old school black and white great ones you see Saturday nights on me TV on Spangoo. Yes. Now you got to remember, these movies appeared back in like 30s, 40s, and 50s, black and white TV days. When back then those were horror movies. Okay, people were scared of stuff like that. It takes a whole lot to do that nowadays. Universal wanted to bring those back but also make it more hip for this generation. Universal yeah. wanted <laughs> Universal wanted their own Disney. Uh, not their own Disney, they wanted their own Marvel. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, All yeah. the same diff. If it wasn't for Marvel, Disney would not and it was be called the Dark ahead. Universe. Which, called, DC, yeah. which DC actually has the same thing, but it's... Here's, here's, here's the thing. The idea was you would get a new version of the Frankenstein monster. And we got that movie. Remember, we did get the new Frankenstein out of this. Okay? We were supposed to get a new mummy, which I don't understand because they had all these great mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. Why didn't you use that as the launching pad for your Dark Universe? Yeah, you know, the, the mummy movies with Brendan Fraser, a lot of people look at those movies and think of them as jokes, but honestly... Those were really great adventure movies. Those were, uh, to me, those were actually well done as a mummy movie. To me. To now, me. Uh, we, before we started recording today, we were talking about The Rock. Uh, Wayne Johnson. Remember where The Rock got his start? Where did he first grab superstardom? Mm. The WWE. Well, yeah, the WWE, but his first movie role, his first big movie role, was as the Scorpion King in The Mummy. Yeah. And then he got his, they did, it went over so well, they wound up the spin-off, The Scorpion King. Not the greatest movie of all time. No. Not the most, not the most mental of scripts. Certainly no, mm. not Oscar worthy, but it no, did. I make money yeah and as a result Wayne Johnson is now the most bankable star in Hollywood so it shows Universal can do it right if 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 they know what they're doing and and somebody had a great idea to get certain people involved now I can't remember two of them but I do know one of them was uh, del Toro and it, and he's the one that he does a great job of not just telling like this semi horror type of franchise, but he also helps create these monsters. Uh, he won a, his first huge Academy Award for uh, something in the water. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Smoke in the water. No. Uh, he did Hellboy movies. Uh, Labyrinth, which was awesome. Uh, he did he's, he's a Pacific Realm. All those monsters, all those things he's created. He does this spooky type. He's not as spooky and creepy as Tim Burton, but him and Tim Burton is almost on the same level of whoa. And they had him and a few others that was really good choices. Again, I can't remember these two, but they were great choices. I remember that they their work was actually really 
Am I really going to have to get like a, a tablet computer and leave it here so we can well, do no, research on the fly? Just raise the <laughs> camera up a little bit. Well, no, I mean, I'm. You're the movie expert. You're supposed I to be know, telling me I these know, things. I know, I know, but I read. You got to remember, I read this like a year ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the only person I really cared about was Del Toro. But anyways, they had these guys. They had a meeting with them. And they were excited because this is right up their alley. And uh, then all of a sudden, Universal, the people at Universal, told them what their ideas were. And that was put kind of like a mainstream actor, A-list actor, into these movies and make it more hip for the people nowadays. And of course, their idea was Tom Cruise being a mummy. They threw out the idea of The Rock being Wolfman. Well, that was enough for them to pretty much say, oh, hell no. <laughs> and they walked out. They did not want to have nothing to do with this because they even made, they even wanted them to know, like, look, horror works back in the day. It's not going to work now. They can make these creatures creepy, kind of like how it was. You know, it had that creepiness, but it's not going to be a full horror movie. Uh, and they could have done that, and it would have worked. I would have definitely loved these to see these movies. But they decided, no, that's, you know what, if that's your idea of what you're going to do, you're going to ruin it. They left, and they decided to go with their ideas anyways. And then Tom Cruise as the mummy came out, and well, you saw how well that movie did. And if you did like that movie, what the hell are you? What have you been eating? Serious. Hey, yo. Okay. So. All right. So, basically, no. they screwed the pooch. Let's they screwed. It. Let's let us let us analyze this. Okay. Just for a second, we're going to do a free analysis for Universal. I'm oh, sure Universal yeah. is just on the edge of their oh, seat for for, for two fat geeks from Kentucky to explain how they screwed up, but. Um, we're right more often than we should be. So pay attention. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna give you an idea and I want you, right, I want well, your well, reaction well, to well, it, okay? This. People know now you tell me whether this is true or not, okay? People know who Dracula is. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. People know who the Frankenstein monster is. Yes. Some people even know who Dr. Frankenstein is, right? Yes. Okay, so people know who the wolf, wolf man is, right? Yes. And everybody knows who the mummy is and the creature from the Black Lagoon, right? No. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, what? All right, it's, creature it's from sure. the Black Lagoon is pushing it, but everybody knows what a mummy is. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's already got this idea in their head of what these monster movies are going to look like. They know Bela Lugosi is Dracula. Bella Lugosi played Dracula back in the 1930s, for God's sake. And 80 years later, pushing 90, still defines the role. Boris Karloff as the Frankenstein monster. People still think of Boris Karloff. Okay? Yeah. The Mummy, who knows what's in the Mummy's thing? It's all covered. But the Wolfman is Lon Chaney Jr. Now, the Wolfman, other people have taken efforts with the Wolfman because yes. Universal did not secure the rights as clearly to that as they did to Frankenstein. The name's Frankenstein and Dracula. Wolfman Wolfman's, was my favorite. Wolfman's a little more generic. They couldn't copyright that. So, Wolfman doesn't quite have the image problem that the other two have. The Mummy, for that matter, is now known to modern audiences because of Brandon Fraser. Yes. Okay? Uh, and the creature from the Black Lagoon is the one who got shafted in all of this. To yeah, they still have not been able to do a remake on that yet. So. Here's, here's an idea. What if, the two most dangerous words in the English language, what if, Ooh. what if we don't deal with physical monsters, we deal with metaphysical monsters, okay? Here's an idea. Hmm. Take take the concept of Dracula. Everybody's, what do you think of when you think of Dracula? Quick, just hit me. First thing off, off the top of your head. I say Dracula, what do you think of? I think of this scary dude living in a castle. Mm -hmm. 
with the cape and the fangs. Even and, though most people would be pool. like, Twilight. Back okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, that's why I said Dracula, not vampire. Dracula. Okay. Yes. What if, instead of sucking blood, Dracula sucked souls? I love that. What if... I love that. That's now, cool. understand, in the old school... You had to invite Dracula in before he could come into your house, or into your castle, or into your room, or into your boudoir, or whatever. Okay. In order for him to steal your soul, you've got to let him in. So he's got Dracula's got to convince you that you should trust him, and then when he lets you, when you let him in, then he starts sucking your soul. And here's the thing: souls are real. So when he finishes consuming your soul, all that's left is a dry husk. And then the husk gradually reinflates another vampire that serves Dracula. But it's a psychic vampire now. I really love what you're going on here. Take like the this. core idea, adapt it for a new audience. Don't just sit there and give us Somebody doing a Bella Lugosi impersonation. Don't be Woody Harrelson, okay? There's only one Carol O'Connor. There's only one Archie Bunker. Give us a different Archie Bunker, Woody, please. And I don't know what the heck this was, Woody. But anyway. Okay, so. I really gotta now, watch I, that. now, I just pulled that out of my rum. Okay, I, I just made that it. up here. I okay? love that. More creativity than the entirety of the Universal production lot, apparently. Now, yeah. Frankenstein's monster, okay? What if he looked human? What if he looked human, okay? What if the Frankenstein monster doesn't have the flat head? What if he looks like Tom Cruise? Hang on, what's this? What if the Frankenstein's monster looks like Tom Cruise, talks like Tom Cruise, acts like Tom Cruise, but has absolutely no morality whatsoever because you can't implant morality it has to be taught you can implant a heart you can implant a brain you can plant eyes somebody goes off and scrags tom cruise and replaces it with a completely immoral beast that's that's planted into the brain of tom cruise and now tom cruise is a psychopathic killer stalking the streets of beverly hills and nobody knows who's doing this because nobody can believe it's Tom Cruise. Hmm. So the Frankenstein's monster is right there in plain sight, but you never see him. Yeah? Like I said, I'm just pulling this out of my rump. I'm not even saying it's a good idea. I'm not even saying it would work. Although it would be awesome to have like Bruce Willis do it. <laughs> And Bruce Willis probably be up to it too. <laughs> or for that matter, give it to uh, give it to okay, give here. it to Peel. Give it to Peel and let him produce it with like Denzel Washington as the Frankenstein's monster, and you will blow so many minds. <laughs> you will blow every. Oh my goodness! Oh, so Everybody, they never forget Jordan Peel for that. Oh, that would be great. Come up with the new concept. And guess yes. what? You've already got the mummy to establish like a sense of humor into this dark universe, oh. right? Okay, no, 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 no. Rebrand the dark universe so that it's psychological horror in addition to physical horror. You can still have physical horror. Chucky took that. Chucky is getting rebooted. Did you know that? Yes, I did he, know that. Now he's an AI that's being subverted by humanity and it's it's a different spin and I actually am looking forward to seeing how this turns out not that I'm gonna go spend money to watch it but I'm curious <laughs> how it's gonna turn out yeah. so there, there's nothing wrong with the core concept but don't be afraid to make just a subtle changes okay See, so, that, that, I mean I mean like I said on Dracula a psychic vampire Okay, because with today's corporate culture, the internet, yeah. everything else, we're already our souls are already under assault at all times. <laughs> anyway, yeah, wouldn't it be awesome to have like a multi-billionaire in charge 
of a massive international shopping company named Vlad Dracula. <laughs> Okay, running now, yeah, now, running, yeah, now running a, a website bit. called Transylvania.com yeah. that ships things to everybody, and now he's getting into the entertainment business, okay. and he stop. offers Transylvania Prime. Stop! <laughs> stop! Now you're going way too far. You had me. You had me, and then you lost me. I do oh, that. Shoot. So, there's an idea. For that matter, I've got a. I have a list of ideas for future episodes. I'm going to go ahead and burn one right here because I think this would be an awesome idea. <laughs> they Live Again. Remember They Live with Roddy Piper? Uh, is that the one where he's... Where he's got the specs. He puts on the, the glasses and he can see aliens. That would be... A that, that would be great. Imagine somebody finds those glasses today. Okay, Roddy Piper's not with us. Damn it, but... Somebody finds those glasses and they can see the evil inside each of us. I'm surprised they haven't actually done that yet. Again, these are just right out of my butt. This is like Charmin territory, kids. <laughs> Golly. So anyway, <laughs> the dark universe, dead, gone, probably not coming back. But you would yeah, you but, give but, it a second chance? With if, what they, I just if, told you. if they did it right and they did stuff like that, I would I would love it. I mean, you got the thing with culture now is that they have ruined it. Of what used to be scary is not scary no more. And I mean, like again, I know I I, I shit on Twilight a lot, but Twilight is horrible. I mean, I'm sorry. People used to fear vampires. Now. Everything that you watch is literally all the vampires look like they're freaking uh, models. Not all of them are has, have to be freaking pretty. Okay, stop that. Stop turning vampires into models. Stop it. Werewolves again. Twilight. The wolves in that were you know even though I love the fact that they were all Indians, I thought that was great. But still, they it's just. That, that shit is not scary. I'm sorry. I know I deserve to be hit, but it's the truth. It's like they ruin culture because now everybody expects, oh, vampire, I want to fall in love with you. And it's like, why? Why, why do you want to fall in love with a damn vampire for? There's another Stop idea. That. for. Hold on. There's an idea for Dracula. What? Okay, have Dracula be sparkly and then be a real vampire. And when the truth comes out, and all his fans are gathered around him, and the truth comes out as to what he really is. And, and that actually making Dracula sparkly actually makes my idea work even better on being the psychic vampire. Because if you're in love with sparkly vampires, uh -huh. you've already let him in. Congratulations, <laughs> your soul is shot. Basically, all you teenage girls. Out there. Yes, you're, and you're several teenage dead. boys apparently. Oh, I mean, it's 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 just it's horrible the way they do it nowadays. Because nowadays it's like they think, oh, let's reboot Halloween. Let's reboot Friday the Thirteenth. I'm teasing over here. Let's let's reboot uh, uh, Chucky and stuff like that. It's like okay, look, it, it's been done. Do something new, creative, just like you said. If you want to bring back these really old, great, legendary characters of horror that may not be scary now, but you can do it with something so fantastic, do it like that. Don't, don't, don't put, oh, well, we need to sell tickets. People don't want to go watch this because the vampire is not pretty. It's like, who did... Nobody cares about the prettiness. The Don't one, listen to the teenage girls. The guy who always, before we wrap this up, the guy who always makes the most money off a new concept is never the first one. It's the second. Okay? The guys who founded MySpace are broke now. It's the guys who founded Facebook who are billionaires. Right? Mm. It wasn't the guys who founded Sears who are millionaires anymore. It's the guys who founded Amazon, right? Yeah. The guy who came up with the concept of Sparkly Dracula being a psychic vampire is not going to get a dime out of it, is he? <laughs> but one of you guys could do it. 
Even if you don't call it Dracula, you can put it under a different name. Sparkly Bat. Give it a try. Oh, let's not go to Pattinson route again. <laughs> that was last week, and I do oh, not want to relive trying to post that episode again. But anyway, <laughs> we need to wrap that this. Horrible. Universal's Dark Universe. Dead, buried, gone. For yeah. now. For no now. Not forgotten, just for now. So, not goodbye, just till later, because somebody at Universal is going to start snorting some blow off a hooker's stomach, and it's going to make sense all over again. Yay! So, till next time. I thought that was Disney's job. Well, no, they were talking about Disney's ashes on that one. They snort Disney's ashes oh. off Snow White's stomach. I'm Spike. This, I'm Chris. That is Chris. Till next time, God bless, God keep, and God speed. Good night, all.